All right. Does everyone know what a 45 degree angle is? All right. Your first sheet is going to be the visible sheet. It's going to be the one to show the 45 degree angle. Wherever your head is, your head is, that's why you're going to need a lot of sheets. So make sure, because you're going to have to work with the sheet at your head. So we're going to say this is the head right here. I'm not worried about the bottom whatsoever. So I'm not worried about having enough sheet to tuck it in or anything like that. It's going to be difficult at first to just make it a 45. But what I do, whatever side I'm on, if my head's down here, my head's down here, what I do is I put my elbow on that corner right here. All right, you got a 45 degree angle right here. All you do is fold it down. Fold it down, tuck it in. We have a 45 degree angle right there. You guys see a 45 degree angle right there? Sorry, yes. Sorry. So you take the end of the end of the sheet, put it exactly on the very edge of the bunk. You're not going to see really much of the sheet at all, so you're not worried about the sides or anything like that. The whole entire key is to make that sheet. You should have enough room to tuck it in. But it's going to go to the very top of that bunk all the way across. All right, with the wool blanket, it's kind of the opposite. You're going to need to tuck in the bottom because you're going to do your 45s on the bottom of this. So what you want to do, you do with your wool blanket, I know you guys don't have rulers right now. Uh, there will be, rulers, there'll be rulers, rulers available to you guys. That we have them up on the two smart test. So uh, the way the standard is, is, this sheet right here will be 12 inches. So for right now, it, it, your LVP is about six, so you can kind of put your LB, yeah, LVP down once. Let me see this one's LVP. Go like this. Start at the top. We're going to assume that's six inches. Flip it over. You got another six inches, which is 12. It's going to be 12 inches. Fold it up. Get your 45. Your angle right there. Tuck in all this excess down here. Fold it down. You got a 45 degree angle. Tuck it in. <coughs> Elbow, bring it up, 45 degree angle, tuck all this axis in, hold it down, got a 45 degree angle. The reason why we had that sheet like that is because on top of this being 12 inches, which is going to be measurable, you're also going to have a 6 inch fold. Which I'll show you. Hold it all the way down to the little blanket. Which is half, half the 12 inches right here. And then you fold it over again. Which should be 6 inch fold. Where's your feet? So 12 inches here. One, two. Six inch fold. Just eyeball it. Pretty easy, right? Six inches across it. All right. Pillows. <coughs> Depending on what building you're in, uh, your pillow cases, the opening, wherever your pillow goes in, it goes in a certain way. So we're not really worried about that right now. So the key is to fold it under, and you want to flatten out your pillow. These pillows are really horrible, but do the best you can. Flatten it out the best you can. And it'll go from the top of the seam right here, of the bunk, and center. So you want it centered on your bunk. This pillow is all backed up. That's the way it is. But just try to do the best you can. It should be centered on your bunk as best as possible and flattened out. All right, with the round blanket, it's going to be measured by nine stripes. That's the requirements. You want to get it nine stripes. Sorry, Fletcher. Yes. Can you help me out here? Yes. All right, so get your battle, buddy. Fold it in half. That's good. I'm going to put it on the bunk. Teamwork is the key. How about your battle, buddy? You guys work together. You watch your bunk. We're looking. Uh, yeah, this this really uh, I made it pretty quickly and, and, and you guys will have time to do touch-ups on it, but uh, the bunk should look at least this good. 